Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get these Don't change a thing now, there was never trust Don't you say a word, cause I've heard it all You were just pain when you felt it all oh. Something tells me that I won't make Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another ROM for the Redmi 4A and this will just continue because the ROMs are getting better, the device is getting better and we are expecting Oreo soon. Now, as always, before we begin with the video, there are a few things that I need to discuss with you guys. We are almost in the final stages of the OnePlus 6 coming up and tomorrow, the video of the leaks of the OnePlus 6 will be going live. At the same time, the third video for my brand new channel Kratos 390 will be going live tomorrow and here's a card to that if you haven't already if you like my content please go ahead and subscribe to that channel there'll be some really really interesting shots and really really interesting stories coming up on that channel now coming back to today's topic we are going to install a brand new custom ROM which is based on Android 7.1.2 now once again this is not a review this will be a install and preview we will install the ROM I will show you through the install process and we will have a first look at the features of this ROM. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Here's a card to the latest giveaway. Go ahead and give that video some love. And without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's begin. Once you leave me, it's over. No turning back, not today. All right, so here we go once again, we are in TWRP and it's time to flash yet another ROM. The name of the ROM is Wiper OS based on Android 7.1.2. Now this is a February build, relatively new. It's not the latest build because there's not been an update after this one. Um, from what I know so far, there are no bugs in this particular ROM, but we shall see that. And to begin with, usual disclaimers make sure you have more than 50 percent battery back up all your data we won't be responsible for any data loss and do this at your own risk you will need unlock bootloader and twrp if you want to know how to unlock your bootloader and install twrp one here's a video or here's a card on how to unlock the bootloader and two here's a card to the video in which you can learn how to install twrp on the redmi 4a now, before doing this, what I've already done is the files are already in the phone. That is a ROM file and Google Apps. That is all we need so far. All right, so the first thing that we will do is we will go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. We won't be wiping internal storage because that's where our files are. So go to install and select wiper Rolex. Now, once again, the link for the ROM is mentioned in the description. I use open Google Apps. The processor that is there for the Redmi 4A is a 64-bit processor. So we will be selecting ARM64. And I choose to use Pico Google Apps. That is the smallest variant. The flashing will take two to five minutes. So please be patient. All right, looks like the ROM is flashed. Next thing that we need to do is go back to the main screen go to install and flash open Google Apps. Now, once again, this flash may take between two to five minutes, it depends on your complete setup, but give it some time, it will flash. All right, so Google Apps is flashed. We will wipe cache in Dalvik to be safe. There we go. And then we will directly go to reboot system, do not install. So as always, this is going to be the first boot which may take between 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, yes, if it takes more than 10 minutes, you can say that it is in a boot loop, but uh, I might have flashed like at least uh, 100 different times on Xiaomi phones and I'm yet to see a major, major boot loop. I mean, it does happen. Talking about boot loops, the boot animation is already there, so that should not be a problem and looks good. There's a cobra or a snake in the boot animation. So yeah, we will get back to you once the boot is complete. All 
All right, so the interesting part, Wiper OS has booted up. So yeah, that's the home screen of Wiper OS. Um, now, that is what I like about custom ROMs. You know, you can literally count the number of apps you have. So that's 17 apps. You again have Snap It camera and uh, usual stuff. So let's open the camera for that matter. The stock camera is always footage camera when it comes to the custom ROMs of Redmi 4A. And I'm pretty sure it is working fine. I don't need to show you my storeroom again. Uh, that's fine. Uh, the camera works. I don't see a tethering hotspot app. That means that the tethering hotspot or mobile hotspot should be working from the menu or the settings menu itself. Let's enable it. All right. So hotspot is working. Now there's nothing much that we need to worry about because voice over LT is working as well. So all you geo users, you should not have any problems. Now let's have a look at the ROM itself. The ROM itself is very, very minimalistic. There's not many apps, so it's just some basic default system apps. And uh, then just because we installed Google apps, we have the Play Store, so you can download what you like of your choice. FM Radio is there, the Equalizer is there, File Manager is there, and let's go to Settings. We will leave all the usual stuff aside. Now, two interesting parts that are different, or at least one of them, is customization and themes. So when you go to Venom, it's the usual stuff. So you can customize quick settings, status bar items, clock and date, carrier label, battery, logo, graphic indicators, status bar, lock screen weather, sound and notifications, system. You can have navigation bar, recent screen can be customized and about ROM, download center and stuff like that. So they have a GITUB account, of course, they have a Telegram group, Google Plus, so you can join their communities from here if you wish to. Now, let's go to themes and check. Um, Okay. Primary color, okay. Okay, so I can switch to black. That looks much better for me. And do we have any other options here? Yeah, that looks nice. If you've seen any of my OnePlus 5T videos, hey, Star Wars theme. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it looks decent. Black and red is... Okay, system interface must be restarted after applying. This is what it says. And we are on the lock screen again and... See, it looks beautiful. Now what I don't like is you should color the status bar icons as well. I don't know why you wouldn't do that when the theme is changed, but that's completely fine there's a shortcut for venom here so you can directly go to customizations and apart from this let's just go to about phone and check what do we have so this is the date it is uh, 2nd of february 2018 version 3.1.1 um nothing much there android version is android 7.1.2 no good so yeah, that brings us to the end of this video for Viper OS. Looks like a pretty solid ROM. Go give it a try. Let me know in the comment section if it is stable for daily use or not. What are the bugs that you have so that I can forward them to the developers and get them fixed for you. Now, before we end this video, let me tell you guys, I've started another channel as I have been telling you all the time. The channel is about motorbikes, motor vlogging, and the link for that is mentioned in the description. Go watch the videos on that one. Subscribe there, subscribe here, and do not forget to like, share, and participate in the giveaway. Until the next video, keep smiling, take care of yourself. See you all. Goodbye.